Welcome to Sequestered Signing Week 9, Day 3. We're going to continue with health signs today. Now we're going to get into more, oh, I'm not feeling well and how to get better, okay? All right, so the first sign is sick. I feel sick. And it could be any generic sick that there is, right? Sick. So both hands are in the extended five hand shape, which is again, the five hand shape with the middle finger pushed forward. Place your dominant hand on the, on the same side as your arm at your forehead here. And your non-dominant hand is at your stomach on the same side here. Boom, so I'm right-handed. This is my right hand, this is my left hand, sick. Oh, that means your head doesn't feel good and your stomach doesn't feel good. Now, it doesn't matter if it has nothing to do with your head or your stomach, this is the sign. So if you're left-handed, it will look like this. Sick, okay? Sick, right-handed. Next sign, pain. I may have taught this before when we did um, action signs, but I wanted to make sure we did it and associate it with health. So pain and hurt are the same sign. So first, let's just do the generic one. You go like this, both hands are in the one hand shapes, point them towards each other and you're gonna twist and bring them towards each other. Hurt or pain. Ooh, it's like two things, nerve endings firing off that are not happy. Hurt. Okay, now what's nice about hurt is you move the sign around and it can show, you can use it to show where it hurts or what's hurting. So if you have a headache, you can go up here in front of your forehead, here, and everybody knows this means headache. If your stomach hurts, you hold it in front of your stomach. Oh, gosh, I've got a stomach ache, my stomach hurts, okay? Does your shoulder hurt, okay? Does your, um, anything, you, and then if it's something where you can't sign it and show it, like I can't show my hand is hurting here, I can go hand hurt, or I can point and then sign hurt. So if it's like my elbow, I can be like, my elbow hurts, you know, or my knee hurts. I mean, I could bring hurt down to my knee or bring my knee up, but that's just ridiculous, right? So you just point to your knee and then sign hurt. Now, if you were in this situation where the person still couldn't see my knee, if I pointed to it, you can finger spell it, knee hurts, okay? But otherwise you can move it around. But this is headache, this is stomach ache. And if you just want regular hurt, hurt, hurt. And then again, remember you can point to anywhere else or use the body part signs you've just learned to sign it and then sign hurt, okay? How many times can I say hurt? Like I'm saying it funny too, which is weird. Anyway, next one, throw up, vomit, Ralph, all those fun signs, okay? <laughs> so take your five hands, your dominant hand is here, your non-dominant hand is here, so it's up at your mouth and go, <laughs> throw up. So it's coming out in an arc, out of your mouth and down. So from the side, Oh, throw up, throw up. So this is representing all that nastiness coming out of your poor little stomach, okay? And you put it in front of your mouth and this one is staggered out, arch out and down. Cause it's like that right to the toilet, if you're lucky, right? Okay, <laughs> medicine. So this is just generic medicine. Take your open B hand shape of your non-dominant hand, palm up. This is like your mortal and pestle is uh, the sign is representing, okay? So this is the bowl part of it, the mortar, I think. And this is the pestle part. So your five hand extended, place the extend the middle finger here in the center of your palm and you're gonna go back and forth. Medicine, so you're crushing up the ingredients in that bowl, right? Medicine, medicine, okay? Now, the next one is taking a pill. So if you're gonna take a pill, you go, so you start in this baby O hand shape, okay? If you wanna think about it, just do your one hand, like you're gonna about to flick it and tuck it behind your thumb. And that's important, because you are gonna flick it. So you're gonna hold it in front of your mouth, knuckle facing you, Okay, and you're gonna open your mouth and you're gonna flick toward your mouth here. 
like you're taking a pill. Like you just flicked the pill into your mouth. I've got kids banging on my door. That's rude. Take a pill. All right, the combination sign here. So you're gonna do first sign red. We learned these colors. Oh gosh, I don't remember what week it was, but we learned colors. <laughs> red, you're gonna red and you trickle down your hand. Blood, blood. So your hand here, your non-dominant hand is just chilling. It's in the five hand shape. Your dominant hand is in the one. And then as soon as it comes down, it's gonna go into the five hand and it's gonna trickle down your hand like this. Okay, so I am slightly wiggling these fingers and I'm letting them like brush up against all these fingers, kind of run into them, okay? Blood, so it's red because blood is red when it comes out of your body, right? Red, and it's like, this is liquid, okay? This is li these are showing liquid. We use the five hands a lot in sign language to show liquid, a, a lot of sorts, <laughs> okay? So it's just trickling down the body. I know, a little bit weird morbid maybe i don't know rest is our next sign both hands are in the flat b hand shape rest rest it doesn't matter which arms over which rest like you're a vampire in your coffin rest rest <laughs> like you need to be sleeping you need to rest because you just threw up all over the place <laughs> okay exercise don't do this when you're sick <laughs> exercise is your s hand shapes right here just hold them up in front of your body like this and you're gonna go up and down like you're lifting weights and don't get technical because you're like well that's not how i lift weights <gasps> you're just gonna be lifting weights okay <laughs> little baby weights oh Oh, it's so heavy, I can't go that high, <laughs> okay? You can see some people sign this sign out like this, like they're flexing their muscles. Um, I see this the most out like this. Now, this will, can get confused with health. We learned that one yesterday. And strength or strong, okay? Health, strong or strength. So it starts and ends with the S and it's more of this deliberate thing. And then exercises out like this, like you're pumping iron, okay? <laughs> shower. So shower. So it's like the shower head is here. Open it, close it up, and then open it onto your head. Open it onto your head again. Shower. Shower. You need a shower. You stanky. Shower. <laughs> Okay, now if you want to take a bath, now this is wash. I believe we taught this one, wash. There's many forms of wash you can do. This is the, our generic wash. Um, you can wash dishes, you can wash windows, you can wash your body for a bath, okay? So take your A hands, place them here on your chest and go up and down. Just right here in this flat area, collarbones, bath, okay? Shower, bath which okay that's it for day three join me tomorrow for week nine day four for sentences all right get excited again head to the practice prompt instagram account asr show to get the practice prompt i said that all backwards whatever um and you can get the list of signs you've learned today and get the practice activity for it that accompany these signs. And you can also check out any practice prompts you may have missed or any of the other videos you may have missed. Just look for week nine, day three. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for week nine, day four sentences. Bye.